is up everybody welcome back I guess I should say welcome back to myself this is Revbrain here with you once again I have been away from YouTube for God, I don't even know how long it's been a while <laughs> um, we had a lot of stuff come up personally with uh, we, we bought a house cat down and myself cat down and my wife if you haven't checked out her YouTube channel make sure you check it out get that plug out of the way I'll mention her a lot. Uh, the reason for that and this video is that Katam and I went to C2E2 this weekend. Uh, that's the Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo. Uh, we went in 2015 and it was really fun. I put out a video for that. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Um, but I want to make another video for this year. We didn't go last year. Didn't have a chance to make it, but... Um, had a chance to go this year. We bought the three-day pass. Actually, Cat Don bought the tickets, so thank you to her. Um, it was it was pretty fun. We ended up going only Saturday and Sunday. Um, I'm actually doing a little voiceover here on Sunday night after I put all the videos here onto my computer. And so I just want to do a quick little intro, kind of tell some stories about how our experience was while we have a little... Uh, background video of the convention uh, see some of the costumes that are out there a lot of really cool cosplay costumes um, you'll see a lot in this video um, I'll make some comments on a few of them uh, I don't make any mean any offense to anybody of course uh, if I don't recognize what your costume is I'm kind of far removed from the comic world I guess uh, but some of them are really good uh, even the ones I don't even recognize there you know a lot of work was put into it um, both Kata and myself ended up dressing up a little bit on Sunday, today. Um, you might have seen Kat Dom walking around if you're at the show. She was dressed up as Wonder Woman. She did a really good job with it also. Um, and then I was uh, Walter Sobchak from uh, The Big Lebowski. <laughs> so we had several people recognize us. It was pretty funny. Several people just walked up to me and said, like, go over the line. Or this one guy asked me... Uh, Hey, um, what do you say to me? He's like, what should I, what should I, or what am I, he said. I'm like, I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> what am I? He's like, I'm out of my elements. It's like, okay, I see where you're going. So, it was kind of funny, um, you know, being recognized and stuff. A few people wanted pictures here and there. Uh, Cat Dumb obviously got a lot more pictured because she was more of a, you know, comic book hero person. Uh, but she put a lot of work into her costume, so she was really proud of it, and uh, she looked really good, so I'm really happy for her. Um, we didn't get to see the cosplay championships this year, unfortunately. I'm not even sure who won it or anything. Uh, this was a cute uh, one here with a uh, little baby Goku throwing his uh, Kamehameha wave at people. That's really cute, seeing the family, like the Vegeta and uh, Bulma with a little Goku kid. <laughs> really cool to see people picture, uh, posing for pictures like that. Um, it was kind of an up and down kind of weekend. Um, I guess both had its ups and downs, I suppose. Uh, Saturday wasn't too bad. At first, we got there at a decent hour. We ended up parking in lot B, which was filled up like right when we were right after we parked. It filled up, and I think um, people were forced to park at Soldier Field. I think um, if you're not familiar with Chicago, that's uh, the nearby stadium where the Bears play. And uh, I don't think there's any shuttle going to the the convention, so that's kind of sucky for them. So sorry to hear about that. Um, at the actual show, um, we didn't really get to see many of the panels on Saturday. We only saw one of them, which was a Marvel one. We really just wanted a place to sit down because we were so tired of walking. It was terrible. So there's like tons of people here. Uh, we saw a Marvel one, which was about comics, which I didn't know was about the comics. I was hoping it was about the movie kind of canon story. But I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> it definitely was not. Um, it was kind of cool, though, seeing stuff about the comics. I, I don't really read the comics, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people were very excited about it. Like, all the new artists and different series are coming out with really cool stuff. Uh, there were some fun booths here. You can see, like, the Lego Batman there at the Direct TV booth. And, um, again, a lot of uh, interesting costumes here and there. A lot of people I don't recognize, of course. Like, I don't really know who that guy is. Or that girl. But, um... Yeah, we saw some, uh... Um... Other booths, like the Me TV booth was kind of cool. Um, you'll see Rocket Raccoon, if you haven't seen it already. 
over here in the Me TV booth to the right. If I pan there, I'm not even sure if I do. Uh, several Deadpools. Uh, so many Deadpools. Yeah, there's the Rocket Raccoon. In my opinion, best <laughs> best costume I've seen this weekend. It was crazy. The mouth moves and everything. It was ridiculous. I can't even keep my camera straight. I was so impressed by this costume. I wish I saw it up, up close. It was really cool, though. Um, so Saturday was kind of nice. When I saw the one panel, um, again, we were just really tired. There was one... Um, one other event or panel thing we wanted to see about resin casting, which I have a clip in here later on in the video where, like, we were just standing there and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and then, like, no one ever showed up, and eventually a C2E2 guy came up and was like, uh, yeah, they're not coming, so sorry. <laughs> and at the same time, like, one of the people who were waiting was actually talking to the presenter on the phone, I guess they were friends, and like, oh, wait, hold on. They're talking right now, and there's kind of, you'll see it. I kind of explain what's happening as it goes on a little later. Um, that ended up being not as great, though, because we did wait for them to show up, and uh, it ended up being two other people who were really nice and everything, but they really didn't know much about the whole, I guess, presentation we were there for. <laughs> so kind of a waste of time, and not too bad. Um, it was kind of annoying. We, you know, we waited in line to get... Uh, like commemorative cups for the beer um, upstairs in the food court and you know waiting in line for like 20 minutes paying 20 bucks for beer <laughs> which was terrible I'm sorry but their IPAs they have there you may disagree but I did not like those those are terrible it was a bad decision I heard both of them there was the galaxy hero and the anti-hero both not very good um, both uh, we all agreed everyone there I don't know even if you walked around, you would see, like, the booth for the brewing company was, like, empty. It's like, no one really wants that beer. I don't know. I don't really drink IPAs that much. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? I'm sure they make a great product. Uh, Dr. Octopus here. That's pretty cool. Uh, Otto Octavius. I think. I mean, it was a little different from what I've seen, like, movies, obviously. But the comic, I think, would look different. So, um, it looked pretty cool. Nice fabrication he did um, on that one. Uh, but as I was saying, was, so we got, I got up to the bar, and they're out of the commemorative cups, so I paid 20 bucks for, like, shitty beer out of, like, plastic cups, and it's like, we're so, like, my wife, Kat, I only wanted, like, a commemorative, commemorative cup, that's all she wanted to get, <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, let's get something to eat, so I'll go around the corner to get some pizza, because they had, like, a food court area, went around the other side of the upstairs bar area food court closed and i'm like what the hell where's they're like packing up all the stuff and closing the shop i'm like okay well that's closed i'm gonna go downstairs and get pizza great okay so i go downstairs waiting in the line it's very long and uh there's people eating pizza in line which is a little frustrating <laughs> it's like how are you in line if you already have pizza i digress i heard them up front say oh we're out of pepperoni i'm like god damn like, I really wanted pepperoni. That's my favorite kind of pizza. My wife just wanted cheese. I'm like, I can't get one cheese, one pepperoni. And they said they're out of pepperoni. So I'm like, okay, that's not going to be fun. So I was like about five people away from the front of the line. And then a lady announces, we're all out of pizza. I'm like, ah. Oh. It's just terrible timing for everything. So I had to go around and get hot dogs from the next, uh, around the corner. And it was like thirteen fifty for two hot dogs. I'm like, oh my god price gouging completely so i brought that back upstairs and it's like <laughs> my wife's like it's the first time i've ever been disappointed to see you bring back hot dogs <laughs> like yeah, i know and they're good the hot dogs are fine i mean they're just really overpriced but we needed to eat something we were getting really hangry it was terrible um so that went fine and then as we were kind of closing up on saturday uh, we went and found the uh, Wild Bill station where you get like the the cool little commemorative cups and everything. And we were like the third person away from the line. They're like, oh, nope, we're all out of cups. I'm like, God, are you kidding me? There are no cups, no root beer, whatever they were selling over there. It's like, God, you can't like catch a break here. It's like, are you guys going to have the cups tomorrow? It's like, oh, yeah, we're going to have different cups actually. Won't be the C2E2 ones. He should actually be a little bit better. I'm like, okay, cool, we'll be back. So, that was Saturday. It was kind of a mess, but uh, 
it was pretty fun. You got some good video, a lot of good uh, costumes um, on camera here, um, which again, you've seen plenty going through here, and you'll see a lot more as we go. Uh, Sunday, um, not to go on too long, much, not to go on much longer more, was uh, a little bit better. Um, we got he at the, the convention about the same time, a little earlier, and we're like, okay, we're going to park in lot A this time. And, you know, we had to get the costumes together, help, help my wife get on her costume and everything. And um, this was a cool one. It's like a, if I pan back to it, it's like a female Johnny Cage, I guess. I had to, like, zoom in, like, what does her belt buckle say? Because I have no idea what she was. But that was really cool. I see me zoom in here. I don't want to act like a pervert or anything. Like, ooh, this girl's hot. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that was a nice costume. I remember, but, uh, so we got here, we got there at, on Sunday, like, let's park on lot A, uh, we didn't know where lot A was, we followed all the signs, went around the whole building, found lot A, and they were all filled, they, uh, had a sign, they are giving out a little ticket saying how to get to B, it's like, well, we know how to get to B, we passed B to get over here to A, oh, this was, uh, Roddy Piper, I really liked, the. Uh, that was a cool costume, seeing that guy, with the belt and everything, um, so we drove back to like 31st street if you're familiar with the area to get to lot b and um it was all like backed up there so like okay well and then by the time we got back to b b was closed it was completely filled it's like okay we have to go to c it's the only one left so we went to the left went down to c which was actually really nice there's a parking garage and just like cross over a little walkway over lakeshore drive to get to the convention center Actually, not too bad. That ended up being uh, a little bit more convenient than B. Because B, we had to walk a very long way outside um, to get to the building. So it was already, like, bad timing. Because we actually wanted to get there about an hour and a half earlier to see a, a podcasting screen or a panel screen. But we didn't make it in time for that. Um, so we were going to be missing the second one we wanted to see, which is about YouTube gaming. Which, obviously, myself and CatDop do. And uh, we got there, and it's like, if we hurry... We might be able to make it. We made it to the panel like three minutes before it started. I was like, oh, it's perfect. We actually made it to this place. It was like upstairs, two floors, and it was crazy. So we got in there. saw a nice presentation from, uh, what's the guy's name? Abdallah Smash, I think is his name. If I made a mistake, I'll put the right one on the screen, but I think that was his name. Uh, I guess he's a pretty popular YouTuber. Personally, I haven't heard of him, and I apologize for that. But I think he does more like Nintendo stuff and more towards kids a little bit but uh a lot of kids in that in that panel screening by the way it's a little weird it's like are we too old to be doing this <laughs> probably um so we got little raffle tickets which was really cool because he gave out some prizes um i was really hoping cat would win something and luckily she did get her ticket called unfortunately she missed out on the cool stuff like the elgato gaming capture card and the the blue microphone and everything else but got a little uh Pac-Man Super Smash Brothers thing. I don't even know what it is, but uh, you know, whatever. As long as you win something, it's kind of cool. And she got to go up there and say, I'm Cat Dom. I have my own YouTube channel. Check it out. <laughs> She's like, they have you come up there and be like, what's your uh, who's your favorite YouTuber and why and stuff like that. And she said that uh, her favorite right now is the Rad Brad. And uh, people are, <laughs> the guy's like, oh, so who, who likes Rad Brad here? And like, I raised my hand, and, like, nobody else really knew who he was. It's like, how do you guys not know the Rat Brad? He's the king of the YouTube walkthrough, right? <laughs> so uh, that was a little weird, but, you know, she made the joke about he likes to throw chairs and stuff like that, and a lot of people laughed, so that was really funny. Um, so it was nice, you know, she got some exposure, you know, in the panel, which, I mean, it's not going to, like, break the bank or anything, but it's nice. Um, so it was fun. So that... After that ended, we did a little um, the XP, C2E2 XP, which I'm going to make a video after this one, so stay tuned for that probably in the next week or so. Um, just going through the, it's like a scavenger hunt, and it was really cool. There's a little story behind it, and uh, I won't spoil anything. If you didn't get a chance to do it, you'll nice get a nice little walkthrough of what it was. If you did, you get a little refresher. I know we had a hard time finding out everything, which was getting really frustrating, but... You'll see more about it in the other video. Um, so I think that's going to wrap up my intro since I've been talking for like 15 minutes now. 
Uh, but I just wanted to give some uh, some backstory, tell a couple quick stories about our experience at C2E2 this year. And uh, so the rest of the video is going to be more like showing what the costumes are. It'll be like the recording of us actually being there. Um, there'll be a lot of background noise, obviously, so I apologize for that. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm hoping to be back into this YouTube scene a lot more coming up. Um, I've had, surprisingly, a lot of subscribers still, even though I haven't really been around on YouTube. Um, I still get notifications people are subscribing, so thank you for all that. Thank you for all the support. I do check it every day. Um, I just haven't had a chance to record anything. My job has changed a lot. <laughs> a lot of uh, stress with that, but everything's getting a little bit better now, so I'm a little happy with that. And uh, obviously, we, like I said, we moved. We have bought a new house. We have a new dog. You know, so much stuff to do. A lot of responsibilities. So, gotta try to make some time um, for this uh, YouTube thing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're in this in this video anywhere. If you were able to make it to C2E2, tell me what you dressed up as. If you dressed up, if you saw any of us there, or, you know what your experience was like. Um, this Woody costume is really good, by the way. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for my little intro. Enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you guys enjoy, and we will see you again sometime soon with another quick C2E2 video, and then hopefully back to regular gaming content for myself. Um, probably a lot more nostalgic stuff, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Take care, and thanks for watching.
this guy's still down here. And he's waiting for someone to recognize him. I still don't know what you are, man. Sorry. Here's help you. Thank you. 
I'm Italian. Sup? <laughs> no, <laughs> thank you. Should I have Princess Leia?
cross between like the new age and the old age Harley Quinn. Like I like to wear black style, but I don't want to wear pants. <laughs>
Good talk to one of the presenters, I guess.